Hey, what's up, Yens, guys? I'm going to redo my video of the hammer exercise here because um, it's come to my attention uh, quite a few of my videos got deleted or blocked because of copyright concerns. I mean, some of us on YouTube still use our favorite music for our videos and get away with it, but if YouTube catches you, they can delete you. They can delete your anyway your videos. I mean, even you know, they can disable the uh, audio, like I seen done in some of the videos, or they can just block the video completely. I don't know who decides that, but anyway, I'm going to redo this video. My other one for the jaw strengthening trick, I still had those videos, so I kind of did it in a multi video for you and did a couple overlays. But my ones for the hammer trick, I deleted them from my personal files because I guess I wasn't satisfied with them or something. And um, I was going to make new ones anyway, so this what I'm going to do is I'm going to make you and I'm going to do a new one anyway. So um, to get started here, this is what we're doing. I'm using three hammers at once because it strengthens your grip at the same time and it's also good if you don't uh, have a heavier hammer. I have one, it's around somewhere, but I like to do it this way too and show you like a side view. There's a couple different ways I do this. I do it with just the wrist alone. just push it up which is a good way to do it just bend the wrist and you're gonna feel that guaranteed and I also come all the way down like you're beating on uh, like you're trying to hit the face of somebody taller than you maybe if you're trying almost like you're trying to attack a Philistine or something I don't know or beating on the shield of another opponent you know and this is also good for work you do anyway. If you go to work and use certain tools anyway, this is some of the stuff you should be doing. You will actually see things working in the forearm. If well, I'm trying to show you, if I keep doing this, you'll actually start to see uh, tendons and everything working. This is good if uh, you're not happy with your wrists. And if you're a slimmer person like me who ain't satisfied with the way your arms look when you raise them in the air. You know, they look twiggy even though you use curls. So you kind of like what's going on when you're doing curls, but then when you raise your hands in the air, you don't care for how they look, you know, but you just maybe just accept it. Well, this is a good exercise for you. Let's see, I'll give you a, a view here of, as you can see, flexing over here. So, even if you have uh, narrower bones, like smaller bones, and you're just a naturally skinny person, you will benefit from this guaranteed. And, um, yeah, and just uh, to make a comment on uh, my video that in which that annoying... Uh, YouTuber named XX Jesus is Lord XX he did a video retaliating when I I did a video making fun of him one time and um, he did a really stupid video somebody uh, sent me a message and called it a fail but anyway um, he did this stupid video retaliating which it just made him sound like a st I'm figuring he's just some stupid teenager because he retaliates the same way teenagers do but anyway his heading on the video the title of the video actually put the icing on my cake because that's why I'm not gonna retaliate back at him and well my retaliation right now back at him is without actually doing a whole video to do so is that my videos here are for people who are naturally slim and skinny people well they're for anybody if I also want to do them for somebody that maybe is a little bit too I don't know that people that are called fat that are belittled like that can't do certain things I want to be able to do something to help them out too if I can but my videos are for 
people that you know look to maybe are really slim built and are discouraged and so his heading his title in his retaliating video making fun of me because I'm probably the only one on YouTube to even bother to make a video to make fun of him and he retaliated I'm gonna let his video stand no matter what he goes and tries to say or any what lie he any uh, um, excuse me uh, despite any lies he tries to say in the future which people ain't stupid youtubers are not born yesterday unless you get some youtubers that are naturally hateful and just don't like somebody the way they looks anyway but anyway his video actually <laughs> put the icing on my cake the title I kind of like the title because hey that's gonna bring people in there you know but that's what this exercise is all about not to ramble on about him but I kind of wanted to get that in there you know get the dig in there but hate to patronize the enemy but the title I kind of uh thought the title he titled it was kind of cute but anyway yeah that's what my videos are actually for so like I said to a uh, friend on here uh, when I said it in text it didn't come out in a very good way because sarcasm in text doesn't always work you know I mean it can but yeah it's because <laughs> of the way manner he titled titled it it's actually given given me some advertising really that's how I look at it you know <laughs> but <laughs> anyway see how this <laughs> so anyway this if you're one of those people who are discouraged and all that are very skinny uh, built type of people you know maybe a slender type and this you will benefit for this I think you can see right to how I'm holding my arm right here you can see how it's kind of flexing there if you keep doing this this is really going to work for you 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 will benefit from this and and despite with um that idiot says on here I'm all for trying to get people on here to get the guts to come on here on YouTube and actually come up and do something don't be afraid of what anybody says that's what actually my channel was all about so it's funny that uh, <laughs> that uh, <laughs> idiot happens to have made a video that way I actually <laughs> think it's kind of funny but yeah I'm gonna do this a few little bit more so you get the idea but and then uh, I'm gonna show you real quick you know to do it like double hammers but hey you see what that's doing right there as a matter of fact my hand my hands used to my uh, arms used to look really um, trying to think of somebody I can compare myself to yeah my hand my arms look really bad like sticks when I was younger and all that but and still up up until I was doing previewing this exercise here I didn't care for the way my arms looked when I were raised up over my head this is guaranteed to actually work and yeah I won't use any more of my and any Ian's guys watching also don't bother to use any of your favorite songs on YouTube videos any of you guys that are first coming on here and using um, music in your videos you'll get away with it for a while but YouTube will catch up with you it don't matter either way if whether somebody doesn't like you on YouTube they rat you out and or even if they don't uh, YouTube will catch up with you anyway one way or another and they'll disable the videos and that's how they'll do it but anyway I'm gonna do a one quick trick here 
and just I'm going to include this other trick in this video instead of making a separate video because like I said before my hammer videos had music on them and I'm not going to make it a separate video I'm going to put both these tricks in one video see I'm doing two hammers here I'm going to show you how to do this with both hammers just now keep doing this do it standing up do it for a real long time you'll feel a difference and um, I'm gonna rotate around a little bit to give you an idea but do this standing up and any ends people that are into the cultural dances or the martial arts you know get the idea you can pivot your feet and just do like I'm doing now keep rotating get a partner stand like in a circle and keep rotating each other and do this stuff if you ever seen any of them martial arts or Japanese uh, parade things that are in videos I think a youtuber I subscribe to has some of them on there where they're beating on them drums they're beating on this there's a guy beating on them a real big drum he's doing this and then <laughs> going like this and then there's ones they're dancing with swords I'm also into a lot of the belly dance videos not <laughs> I don't care for if it you know it's not my concern about anything promoting sexuality or anything it's I don't care for that I'm looking at I, I'm really into the ones that are dancing with the swords and I'm looking at some really neat tricks they're doing and um, I think you know some of them can use swords or even other tools like hammers or anything you know maybe hey the, hey if your girlfriend's in the the belly dance maybe you can do a guy type of thing that's more masculine along with it or maybe a choreographed Alice Cooper type of thing you know what I mean but if you want to conglomerate into a martial arts or or an eastern stored sword dance type of thing but if you do whether you do that or like I said before if you work construction or any kind of thing and you use tools anyway if, and these tools are in your hands all the time anyway you should be able to strengthen yourself to prevent injury and yes and if you have to defend yourself you could be able to pick even a woman or a smaller dude can pick up a big fat piece of rebar like a two inch thick piece of rebar and swing it without problems at somebody by doing this but do this double handed Oh, and you'll notice this kind of starts to hurt like hell. It's great for the forearms. And unlike um, no matter what anybody else says to criticize, like on here, like Mr. Uh, Jesus is Lord XXX dude on here, you don't have to get real, you know, if you can get real buff and get these big giant arms like uh, like these bodybuilders that are on YouTube or, or like them wrestlers on TV if you can more power to you but I'm on here to show that you don't really have to you can still do stuff alright I'm gonna end this video now and see you next time